After maxing my normal account a few years ago, I made a new IM as a joke. Now I am addicted. No banking, no trading, and no brain cells left. This is my experience on the path to the infernal max cape. Welcome to my UIM Locked series. So, now that we are caught up, I started doing Slayer for the Achievement Diary cape. Then Jagex kinda dropped Warlock more, so I had to clean up my inventory a bit and finish up some items before release. Look at my looting bag! Holy shit! I don't, I don't remember the last time I had this much space, I'm gonna be honest. There's so much endless space. And here too? Hot damn! I was catching some crystal implings off stream to see if I could get some alcohols for some extra GP, and I managed to catch another elven signet. I also have some noted baby dragon bones that I was thinking of using on the wildy altar. Whoa, 88 prayer! That went quick. I clicked so fast I almost didn't see it. Let's go, 88 prayer on the UIM. It's gonna be a long journey until 89. I'm gonna need as high prayer as humanly possible for. Uh, Inferno. Any XP good? All XP good. Are the Inferno Giants faster? Because I swear this guy feels really slow. Maybe I'm just tripping. There we go. Another task done. It just felt a little bit slower. Okay. Trade in the cape. Here you go. Bargain. Yep. You're not lucky. God damn it. I've never seen that message be lucky. Ah. Oh well. It's a task. Egg, thank you so much for the follow. There it is, 500 task, 700 points. Holy, that's a massive one. Let's see what Daredevil gives me. I want, I want black demons. General Grotter, okay, we have to take that. We're not doing that now, but we have to take that. <laughs> that's not often it happens, and I do wanna, I do wanna get Bandos going as well. I want to wait until after Inferno, but now we kind of have an opportunity here. Maybe I, I really want a hilt or a tacit. I can't fucking see the hard clue. I have the casket here, but where the fuck is the clue? Oh, there it is. I found it. Every time, every time I get more stuff and I just can't see. I just can't see where things are. No, I killed a penguin! No! No! Fuck! Abort! Abort! I didn't mean to! I didn't mean to! I've always kind of wanted to fill all the stash units, so whenever I get something that could be stored, I try to stash it right away if possible. What this also means is that I probably will go on a bunch of clue scroll side questing during this account. <laughs> there we go! Another stash unit completed. That's fucking awesome. Another one in the books. I have no idea how many we've done, but a good one to get out of the way. Definitely. Anyone want an unholy blessing? Wait, unholy blessing? Can, can that be a euphemism for something? Is that like an euphemism for shitting on the floor? What? One of the core items I wanted to get for the Inferno Cape was the Necklace of Anguish. This is made by combining a Senite Shard with an Onyx to make the uncut Senite, then with 92 crafting and a gold bar, we can make the necklace. Only one problem, I'm 89 crafting, but no worries, we can boost for this one. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes! Oh my god! We got it! No way! Holy shit! Right off the prediction! Oh my god, we got it! Literally two kills after the prediction ended. There it is! Alright, we only win 100 dry. That's okay. That's not bad. It's been a while. I've only done this once before for my suffering. I'm just, I'm just running around for no reason then, I guess. Alright, cool, cool. Okay, let's go to the monkeys. Oh, these are gonna be in the way, aren't they? Please move. I hate these guys so much. Thank you. Thank you for moving. Or not? <laughs> Bro. Bro. I'm getting- I'm getting monkey blocked. I'm getting cocked blocked. No! Okay. Okay. You move back. Can I go upstairs? Oh, thank you. Thank you for moving. Jesus Christ, this is a struggle. Alright, here you go. Fuse them. Wow! And then we chisel that bad boy. I- I think I need to boost to actually make the anguish now though. It's like 90, yeah, we need to boost for it. I don't have a cat right now. Fuck, I forgot to raise a new cat. Cause I killed my cat by accident. Oh no. A rift cat. Kitten was giant rat, no. I, dude, I had like a fucking wily cat and everything. I trained it and then I fucked up on stream and looked away and I killed it. I had it already. I actually had two cats. I had two wily cats and I fucked it. Uh, I need to go and get some fish for this guy then. This might be the moment. If the boost go through. Just making sure it's the right one. Yep. 
92. All right, with the power of Borch and some random guy's beaver, please, I need a plus three to crafting. Oh, it's a plus four. Let's fucking go! Yes! And then we enchant it, and there it is. <laughs> there it is. Look at that. Senite number two, the anguish on the UIM. Let's go! Yay! March 2023, I got the Termaline Core and I've been carrying it in my bag ever since. Recently, I managed to get the Bandos boots. So now we can combine them together into the Guardian boots. The Guardian boots happen to also be in a stash unit with the Obsidian Cape and the Dragon Two-Handed Swords. So in the future, I guess we have a grind for that one. Termaline Core boots. <gasps> Look at that! You cannot undo this. That's okay. I'll combine them. Hey, There it is. Guardian boots. How cool are those? I love them. <laughs> That's awesome. We'll just wear them forever. <laughs> I don't really use much boot slots. I've had these two items in my bag for a while, and I've been thinking a lot about it, but I think it's time to let them go. The Samarakian Spear and the Ring of the Gods. Look at them, so beautiful. Away they go. Two extra slots. This is the UIM tab that I have. Everything in here is from the UIM. I have a lot of rings. Let's put the rings together. Some ornament kits. Ham joint or two. I could have dropped over the Armadillo D had boots from earlier too, but ah, it's whatever. 94 mil. Not bad. While cleaning up my looting bag, I had a stack of oak planks that I got from Cave Kraken and some herb stacks from Chambers of Serik. I wasn't I wasn't certain that I was that close. Damn, 88 construction. Nice. Can now build skeleton throne. Whoa, I can build a skeleton throne? I didn't know that existed. I want a skeleton throne. Let's add that to the list of things I wanna get. I wanna build the bone throne. <laughs> I want to get the bone thrown. Whoa. How many things are gonna break with Volamore release? I'm expecting a bunch. Whoa, 88 herb lore and a hype train at the Oops. same time. There we go. 88 herb lore. It's another 88 in the book. We got 88 construction earlier today. A lot of 88s coming in here. Look at that. Beautiful. Now that my looting bag and inventory were relatively clean, we were ready for the release of Warlamor. The release of Warlamor was actually so much fun. That's the first quest. Twilight's Promise. Hey, Perilous Moons. When I am depressed, guys, and I'm sitting in the shower crying after stream, I will remember that to the frogs, I am a hero. And that's all that matters. Hey, that means we should have quest key back. That's all the four quests done. That took us ah, five hours, not bad, not bad, not bad. I instantly speed ran the four new quests and I didn't even die once. I am so confused, I just died. No, oh God. Oh no, it's a death pile. Oh God, am I gonna be able to get my stuff back? I'm afraid now. I thought it was a death bank. Uh-oh. If I wipe here because of this, I'm suing Jagex. I then somehow got addicted to hunter rumors and I did 149 of them. Let me show you some of the loot I got from that. Oh, 94 hunter. Whoa, let's go. Hey, 96 hunter. Nice, we got it done. Okay, now we just need two more hunter contracts. Two more and we have 100 we're gonna open. Okay, so what I'm looking for from these, let me show you guys. Quetzal food, I need 40, I believe, to uh, to build all the landing sites. We already have 26, so it shouldn't really be an issue. We should get 40. A lot of bone shards and stuff for prayer would be cool. I want the full hunter outfit. I'm assuming I won't get the full one. At least a piece would be huge. And then pets. Since we can't really reclaim the blue, prints they don't really matter to me because i i, I can't <laughs> but yeah coins is also nice all right let's go meat exciting Ooh, nests i'm probably oh we got another huntsman kid that's fucked up man i'm gonna save the rainers and i'm probably gonna drop all the meat well i guess you could cook some of the meat let's see how full this inventory gets you know let's put the meats up there i might go and decant this to get some more space lantadimes i don't think i'm keeping those 39 one more and we there we go we have the flight path sorted at least we're gonna fix that after this hey we got the perfected quetzal whistle 
need a knife for that. God damn, so useless. It upgrades the whistle so it holds 50 charges instead of 20, but since I can't get it back when I drop it, it's not really useful for me, unfortunately. Oh, we got an enhanced too, nice. Hey, there we go. We're halfway through approximately and we got the hat. That is something. <laughs> <laughs> that looks a little weird, but that's fine. Okay, one out of two. That means if we get one more, the levers take the win on the prediction. Okay, third hunter kit. Awesome. Destroy. Goodbye. And another perfected blueprint. Okay. Does it show dupes in the log? I'm kind of curious. It shows the huntsman kit, but it doesn't show the... There's no blueprints here. We're up to 70 Quetzal feet now. And another enhanced... God damn it. We're getting all the blueprints. Dude, we're getting kind of a lot of money. In 74, we got like 200k, all things considered. Two, wait, wait, I didn't see how many bird's nests we got. We got 222 fucking bird nests. What the? 13 to go. We still only have one piece of the hunter outfit. Either I'm unlucky or it's pretty rare. Oh, I spoke too soon. That is two. So the believers take the win on that one. Two or more. Hey, with nine to go. Maybe it's like a one in 50 because I've opened about a hundred and we got two pieces. Six, five, four, three, two. And the last one. There we go. That's it. Not bad. That's 100, loot of 100 of those. We got almost a hundred. <laughs> That's a lot of bird's nest. I got 384 bird's nests from my hunter grind the past days. We'll start by putting the hunter pieces in the house, because I know you can do that. For me, it doesn't matter. I'm done for now. I've done so much. I've done like 150 rumors, so I'm kind of done, done for now. But yeah, we're missing two pieces. We can't take this back out now until we got everything. God damn it. Wow. Since we got a lot more loot from the hunter rumors than I anticipated, we had to also clean up my inventory again. So we burned the logs, cooked the meat, made the potions. I'm also saving this stack of bird nest for future Saradomin brews. I also decided to build these landing sites in Varlamor for the Quetzal transportation system. To build these landing sites, you need 10 Quetzal feed, three limestone bricks and four soft clay. The Quetzal feed you get from the hunter rumors and the rest is easily obtainable in the shops around the game. I also decided to try out the new prayer method where you bless wine on the altar located at Rala's rice, then use the bone shards I got from hunter rumors at this bowl. So you can take any like normal bones to here and use them on this altar and then chisel them down to bone shards. So you get bone shards that way or you can chisel those sun bones you get in Valamor. Once you have all of that, you've chiseled all your bones, you Take this wine that you have over here, click that, blessed wine. Now you have blessed wine and you have the bones, like the bone shards that you made. So all you need now is to bring the blessed wine and the bone shards and you have to have prayer points to this little bowl over here and that's it. So you see when I click this bowl, it takes one of the blessed wines, put it in. And then when I click it again, it takes a hundred bone shards and drains your prayer a little bit, but you get 600 XP. So you can spam click this until you're out of wine or out of prayer points. You can recharge your prayer here and then go and buy more wine and do the blessing again. That's literally it. After exploring Varlamor, there are a few things I noticed could be great for early game Iron Man. There is an iron bar spawn at Sunset Coast for early game hardcores. There's free sweet corn for those weirdos who like making tuna potatoes or for the recipe of disaster quest. There's also a stone mason without having to go to Caldagrim. If you have found any other useful things in Varlamor, let me know down in the comments. If you have enjoyed my little UIM adventure, consider subscribing and leaving a comment, or someone might block your bank forever. You can also find me streaming all of this content on twitch.tv slash potatohime. See you there.